Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is what's on my Android mid-2016. A lot of you have asked me to do these videos, so I try to do them at the beginning of the year, mid, and at the end of the year. Not a whole lot changes sometimes, and other times, depending on what phone it is, things change a lot. However, if you don't care about Android, I'll link the other video I did at the same time on what's on my iPhone, so you can check that out, so you'll be able to see whatever one you prefer. I always carry my iPhone 6s Plus and the Nexus 6P with me. So I use this one and I know a lot of you have asked me why don't you use a Galaxy S7 or something like that. I have one right here. Uh, I actually just prefer this. I prefer stock Android. I like the size of the display and I like this hardware an awful lot. And so hopefully the next Nexus will be just as good if not better. So this one is pretty much what you'll see in most of my videos and I really don't change much of this up too much. I, I find it to be very efficient and so that's why I leave it this way. So if I'm using Waze or Google Maps, sometimes I switch between the two. Uh, everything's right here at my fingertips, literally. And this is one of the great things that I find about Android over iPhone in this use. So my hands are pretty large and I can just use it like this and everything is right there. So under social, I have Instagram, Phoenix, a great Twitter app that I like to use, Re works really well. Facebook and Periscope, and I should probably use that a little bit more, but I right now I don't. Uh, under news, I have the Play Newsstand, Palabri, if that's how you say that. I apologize if it's wrong. Flipboard and Pocket. And I used to love Pulse News, and Pulse News is basically no more. It was ruined by LinkedIn, uh, and they got rid of it, and who knows what they did with it. I wish they just released the source code and someone would create a new version of it because it actually had your news, and it was each site was one row. So you'd have four different news stories from one site, the four latest stories left to right. It was great. And so far, there's nothing that I've found anyway that replaces it. So if you have a suggestion, please let me know. So other than that, I have music. You've got Google Play Music, Amazon, and SoundCloud. For podcasts, I use Pocket Casts. And under YouTube, you have the typical YouTube, YouTube Gamer and Studio app. Photos, uh, Bible, ways maps and then this is where i kind of experiment with things so i really don't use a whole lot of widgets i've tried using widgets i just don't care for them i'd rather go over to google now and just use this uh, i just like to use it that way it's just my preference and that's what's great about android is i can use it how i'd like so if i go over here you'll see a bunch of different apps so project Fi. this is currently still on project Fi. i did a review of that if you haven't seen it uh, check it out it's actually a pretty good service Inbox, which I go back and forth between the stock Gmail app where I have all of my different email accounts and Inbox. I find them, find in the Inbox in particular to be really efficient. So I like that as far as that goes. Uh, Starbucks app, finance app. Um, let's see, we've got uh, some home management, Xbox, Newegg. These are just some uh, basic things I have. And Newegg, I actually... Uh, built a gaming PC recently so I can use the Oculus Rift, things like that. I haven't built a gaming PC in about 12 years, and I'm very familiar with them, but hardware's come a long way, uh, and I've been a Mac guy for quite some time also, so I like to really try everything, to be honest, and I typically use Macs just because I prefer the way they work, but there's definitely something to be desired when it comes to the gaming side of that, so uh, we'll talk more about that in another video. So we have Robinhood, a great stock managing app where it's free to move between shares, to, to trade, rather. So I find that to be really helpful. Uh, T-Mobile Tuesdays is supposed to be some rewards. Basically, it's a Frosty every Tuesday from Wendy's. Uh, they did give away a movie ticket, but you had to get in within a couple days uh, with Fandango or something like that. Uh, they have some pretty good deals, but right now... Uh, You've got a couple standards. They basically give four different things away, and they're little for the most part. Maybe we'll see some other impressive things later on. For photos, uh, I use Snapseed and Imgur. When all of you ask me for my wallpapers, I use Imgur to, to share those. And Nest. Now, Nest thermostats I've used for about six months, and recently I decided I can't use them anymore. That will be a separate video, but I have to keep the app so you can see the data. Uh, that way I can show you just to basically make a point why I'm not using them. Now, not on the home screen, 
I really haven't done anything. A lot of these have just been restored. But one of the great things about Android, and I actually still use my iPhone as my daily driver, but uh, that's more because of certain apps that I use with my family. Otherwise, I could use this. And in many ways, I'd prefer to use this. But as far as this goes, uh, we have some really nice apps such as Torque. I thought I have the paid version of this also. But that's a, a car or OBD2 diagnostic tool that allows you to check different codes on your car, reset them, whatever you want to do, check different, uh, check what's going on. Wi-Fi analyzer, fantastic app that shows you what Wi-Fi networks are in your area. So let this, we'll give this a second, see what it finds. There we go. And it shows how they overlap. So there's my home network and then my printer on the same frequencies it looks like. And it's pretty neat. It, it changes. It shows the strength. I'm in a house, so I'm not in an apartment building, so you won't see too many. But it is picking up some different Wi-Fi networks from around where I live. And that app's great to find overlapping frequencies, really. If you have a, an apartment where things are, uh, everyone's using the same frequency, you're getting some interference, maybe you can change the frequency or the channel you're using. Maybe jump to the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi AC frequencies, for example. Uh, those seem to help a lot. Uh, other than that, I really don't have... Oh, here's the one I actually own, the OBD, uh, OBD Auto Doctor. But basically, I, I have pretty standard apps on my, my Android phones, uh, other than maybe a few banking apps, things like that. They're basically the same as my iPhone, and this is what I use the most. And what I use the absolute most is really these these two rows. So there's not a whole lot more going on there. I am really looking forward to the final release of Android N. This has been pretty stable, and I used it on a trip recently where Maps was basically what I was using for my GPS, and the problem was I had was maybe once or twice on each way. So the trip was about 12 hours. I live in the Charlotte area, went up to upstate New York. That takes about 12 hours or so, and maybe halfway through the trip, Maps just crashed. On the way home, it crashed twice, so it definitely has a few issues, uh, but uh, I know I'm on a beta. This is Android N beta, the latest one, so hopefully that's fixed with, with an, either an app update or when the beta's uh, no longer a beta. But if you have any suggestions, maybe especially that news app, if you, if you have any that are better that you think, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.